All right, y'all. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and give you the trivia question of the day answer. And then we're going to transition into stop playing. Listen, don't play with me. Y'all make sure y'all come on back and make sure I hit the right keys. And come back like a Glacia Keys, okay? All right, come back for more on the other side. This is the Champions Lounge. What's going on, family? It's your chill brother from another contenter representing TCL once again, man. Listen, I appreciate you guys riding this thing out with me once again, man. Listen, I need you guys continued support of the product by going to Spotify, Anchor, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, and iHeartRadio. The YouTube channel is the Champions Lounge. Where listen, I'm, I promise you, every week I come back and I see y'all. Okay, just like any any uh long term long distance relationship i'll be back i'll be back like the terminator every week to make sure i give you your feel from what's going on around the nba and around the nfl because i promise you they're gonna make sure we give you that barbershop talk but make sure you leave with that champion's wall speaking of that let's get right into the answer to the trivia question of the day the trivia question of the day answer is garrison hurst was the first ever cover athlete on madden he led the San Francisco 49ers to the playoffs, but suffered a horrifying ankle injury and thus sparking the beginning of the dreaded Madden curse back in 1999. Do y'all believe that Madden curse actually exists? I don't, I don't, I'm kind of, I'm partial. I'm partial. I'm not really super superstitious like some people, but I kind of, I don't know. It, it almost makes sense that, you know, some of these cover athletes, they go down for the year with some crazy injury. I don't know. I'm just saying. But Garrison Hurst had the dubious uh, accomplishment of being the first ever cover athlete on Madden football. Crazy. It's been that long. But Madden still pushing out. This video game, especially after it's been almost 40 years with Madden football, man. It's crazy. But enough about that, y'all. It's the part of the show that's my favorite that I hold near and dear to me. This came out of something that me and my brother Kwame, the smooth one. Shout out to Kwame J out in Cali. We came up with back four or five years ago. And man, I can't believe that we have our baby out in fruition now. But listen, without further ado let's get into another week of stop playing coming in at number five let's go to number five. First of all we got honorable mentions this week for stop playing yo tom brady we talked about him earlier yo my man dropped a dime to uh perryman in overtime to take the heart out of the buffalo bills man yo tom brady you gotta stop playing but coming in at number five though we gotta get things going and get things popping okay Jason Tatum, yo, young brother, light-skinned brother with the good hair, still doing what he does like only he can. For Boston, my man went off all crazy on the Milwaukee Bucks, and yo, he keeps just he just keeps proving why, even at the age and the tender age of twenty three, my man still got that yo, and my man can still go. The good news, though, for the Celtics is that guy, Jalen Brown, is back. Celtics and Bucks go at it next. Off the bounce, Tatum to the basket. Nice job. There was some weak side action going on. It allowed Tatum to get that lane to the cup. Tatum, 4-3. There we go. Strong rebound by Langford. Finds Tatum. The three. The hustle by Romeo. Hey, yo, listen, that was just a little snippet of what my man put in work for the Boston Celtics. That, I mean, they've had a up and down season all year long. But, yo, JT got busy with 42 and seven money balls. Yo, Jason Tatum, my man, yo, stop playing. 
All right. Coming in at number four, we're going to go to the gridiron. And AD, and I'm not talking about Anthony Davis because my man been playing like trash for a good while. But we're talking about Aaron Donald. And my man put on a show on Monday Night Football for the great fans of Arizona, but not in the way where they would want it to, especially when they have their MVP candidate in Kyler Murray. But Aaron Donald, he was on a mission. He was on a mission to straight run over folks like he does better than anybody else. And that's why he's number 99 on Madden and he's 99 in your hearts. Connor starts in the backfield off the play fake and Kyler's going to be taken down Aaron Donald in the backfield we've seen some Kyler magic before in this place in this direction Murray stays on his feet now he'll go down and that's how the game will end my man Aaron Donald he began the game with a sack on Kyler Murray. He ended the game with a sack on Kyler Murray. And, yo, it's crazy that my man still puts up these numbers every single year, still finds a way to keep getting sacks, regardless of the fact that my man is most of the time double or triple team. Seriously, a lot of the time. And, yo, the fact that he still keeps putting on work, like, a Mack truck? Aaron Donald is that guy. If you hear that, that's when you hear that Aaron Donald's on his way, especially if you're an offensive lineman. Yo, Aaron Donald, three sacks in the game. Monday night football. Coming through in the clutch. Yo, my guy, stop playing. That's why you number 99 on Madden, bruh. But coming in number three, let's transition. Go to number three, all right? Uh, Kevin Durant, the greatest scorer in the NBA and probably NBA history right now. Yo, my man easily dropped a 50-piece on the Detroit Pistons. But, yo, some of his shots in that game just had me like, yo, I, I don't even know what you can do better with that. And a lot of NBA players are like, yo, I can't do anything more with my man. My man is seven foot. I can't block nothing. KD putting up 51 like it's easy. Rock a bye, baby. Put everybody to sleep. Johnson with the handle. Kevin Durant knocks down the tray. Rebound, Carter. That was Durant stopping from the elbow. Woo! 2.55 to go in this first quarter. That pass stolen. Here comes Durant. Over to Griffin. Durant mid-range. And just look at how he's running the floor. I mean, when when you look at Kevin Durant's game, my man is so smooth like ice, looked like George Gervin back in the day with the San Antonio Spurs with number 44, but my man's rocking the number seven now with the Brooklyn Nets. But my man makes it look too easy. Too easy out here. You know, almost like jump, white man can't jump with them on the floor, on the court at the same time. Yo, it's easy for kd it's too easy out here that's why he's easy money sniper yo kd come on bro 51 and then you had to break uh blake griffin's record in the own arena that he just played in a couple years ago come on man yo stop playing bro coming at number two though i gotta talk about yo like i said it's the good the bad and the funny with stop playing and this probably will go down in infamy as one of the most uh, funniest in all of stop playing history. Contavious Caldwell Pope, I got called him by his whole government name, because this particular play in general has been a microcosm of how the Washington Wizards have been playing as of late. And I'm sorry to say, my guy, you're going to find your way on probably the Mount Rushmore of the funniest things that ever happened on stop playing with this particular play. KCP drives baseline, and the ball just came out of his hand. And Trez commits the foul to stop the break. KCP going baseline. 
had that look on his eye, but got denied on the corner of the backboard. Yo, how did you go for go up for a dunk and then you're denied by the side of the backboard? Someone someone please explain that to me. How how do you do that? How do, how do you really do that? I, I don't understand, bro. Uh, help me understand how you go up and then the backboard blocks you. I don't, I don't understand, man. I, I really don't. Make it make sense. Washington, get it together, man, because y'all looking pitiful out here. KCP, yo, bro, stop playing. But coming in at number one, Got to go to the mile high because Daniel Gaffer is probably not going to like me after this, but Aaron Gordon is probably the one that you need to uh, be a little bit more mad with because my man made you kiss the earth with this particular vicious crossover and then flush right on you in this particular play, man. Hey, yo, Aaron Gordon had to do Daniel Gafford dirty like that. Hit him with the reverse between the legs, made him kiss the earth, and then hit the two hand, <gasps> the flush at the end. Yo, I I'm pretty sure Daniel Gafford, after everything was said and done, had probably this to say. Yeah, I mean, it, it was something like that. Yo, I probably would have been like, yo, I'm holding my leg because my man broke me so bad. That's all I really can do. Yo, Aaron Gordon. Afro Thunder Power giving you different skill set out here. Breaking people's ankles and whatnot. Bruh, Aaron Gordon, my guy. Stop playing, man. All right? And that, my friends, is the end of Stop Playing for this week. Yo, we're going to take a quick timeout. When we come back, we got the championship speech of the week. Don't go anywhere. We got more on the other side. This is the Champions Lounge. What's good with you, family? It's your chill brother from another Mr. All About My Biz. Still out here handling my biz so I can take care of my future kids, man. All about trying to leave that legacy for the future little ones to come. I'm not I'm not really rushing that particularly yet. I'm getting a little up there because I got a little bit more gray hair than I really would like to. But at the same time, I'm trying to build this foundation now for them. When they get here, he's like, yo, daddy, you were on the, you were on your podcast. You were on. Yeah, that's what this is what this is for. Brick by brick, each and every day. And listen, y'all, once you find what your gift is to do, you got to maximize that. Every opportunity you get a chance to, okay? But listen, I need you guys continued support of the Champions Lounge by going to Spotify, Anchor, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio. The YouTube channel is The Champions Lounge. Listen, also follow us on IG at the underscore champions underscore lounge because I promise you, we're going to give you that barbershop talk. With that champion's walk. Okay. Season number three. We're going to take a quick recess. Uh, following next week's show. We're going to let you guys. And let ourselves as well. Uh, celebrate the holidays. Christmas. New Year's. We will come back. Following New Year's Day. We're going to have some new fresh content. And listen. We got some other different surprises as well. We're going to have some more people on the show. So y'all stay tuned for that as well. All right. So listen, it's the time of the show where I help get us and encourage us to be fearless, focused and ferocious so that we can be mentally, spiritually, emotionally and psychologically prepared to be uh, on top of our goals and to maintain our goals for the week to come. Let's get right into y'all the championship speech of the week. All right. So the championship speech of the week family talked about it in the opening, talked about it a little bit throughout the show as well. It's about hurdling the opposition. And when you think about hurdle, you think about, you know, track and field. Most of the time I think about uh, Usain Bolt and he's now retired, but 